Another day, another story. The 400-year rule of the Han Dynasty generated a slew of innovations in everything from agriculture to metallurgy to seismology. When a commoner named Liu Bang became the first emperor of the Han Dynasty in 206 BC, it was the start of a period of more than 400 years that was marked by advances in everything from record-keeping to agriculture to healthcare. Welcome to Tabo Eminent Channel. The Invention of Paper The earliest scrap of paper still in existence, a crude material made mostly from hemp fiber found in a tomb in China in 1957, dates back to sometime between 140 and 87 BC. But Kai Lun, a eunuch in the Han court in AD 105, is credited as the inventor of the first really high-quality writing paper, which he fashioned by crushing and combining tree bark, hemp, linen rags, and scraps from fishing nets and then treating the mixture with lye to break it down into finer fibers, according to Li Shi's book The History of Science and Technology in the Qin and Han Dynasty. Administrative documents continued to be written on boards of wood and slips of bamboo for several centuries, they preserved better, perhaps, Yates explains. But after the collapse of the dynasty, Kai Lun's improved paper came into its own. Kai Lun, a eunuch in the Han court, is credited with inventing paper around 105 CE. This development revolutionized communication, education, and culture by replacing more cumbersome writing materials like bamboo and silk. The Suspension Bridge According to Robert Temple's highly regarded history of Chinese inventions, the genius of China, the Han Dynasty saw the development of the suspension bridge, a flat roadway suspended from cables, which probably evolved from simple rope bridges developed to span small gorges. But by AD 90, Han engineers were building more sophisticated structures with wooden planks. The suspension bridge is an engineering marvel that has played a significant role in connecting distant places and overcoming natural obstacles like rivers, canyons, and gorges. While the concept of suspension bridges has ancient origins and can be found in various cultures around the world, China is credited with some early innovations in suspension bridge technology. One of the earliest recorded suspension bridges in China is the Anji Bridge, also known as the Zhaozhou Bridge. It was built during the Sui Dynasty, 581-618 CE, in Hebei Province, China. The Anji Bridge is often considered one of the oldest and most well-preserved ancient stone arch bridges in the world. While it features a central stone arch, it also incorporates a simple suspension bridge design with iron chains. The bridge's combination of arch and suspension elements allowed it to span a relatively wide river, making it a remarkable achievement for its time. Deep Drilling Han Dynasty salt miners in the 1st century BC were the first to build derricks and use cast iron drill bits to dig holes as deep as 4,800 feet into the earth in search of brine, which they would extract from below with tubes, according to Temple's book. The technique they developed was the forerunner of modern oil and gas exploration. Deep drilling refers to the process of drilling boreholes or wells to access and extract resources, conduct scientific research, or achieve various engineering and construction purposes at significant depths below the Earth's surface. Deep drilling has applications in several fields, including oil and gas exploration, mineral mining, geothermal energy production, scientific research, and environmental monitoring. Deep drilling is a complex and challenging process that requires specialized equipment, engineering expertise, and safety precautions. As technology advances, drilling capabilities continue to improve, allowing us to reach greater depths and access resources that were once considered inaccessible. However, deep drilling also raises environmental and safety concerns, particularly when it involves the extraction of fossil fuels or the potential for groundwater contamination. Consequently, it is essential to balance the benefits and risks associated with deep drilling in various applications. The Wheelbarrow The wheelbarrow was developed in China perhaps as early as 100 BC, according to this 1994 article by M. J. T. Lewis in the journal Technology and Culture. The wheelbarrow is an ancient and ingenious invention that has greatly facilitated the transportation of heavy loads. While it's challenging to pinpoint the exact time an inventor of the wheelbarrow, it is widely believed to have originated in China during the Han Dynasty, 202 BCE to 220 CE, or possibly earlier. This simple yet effective device revolutionized agriculture, construction, and various other industries. The Seismograph Zhang Heng, an early Chinese scientist, explored fields ranging from astronomy to clockmaking. 
but he's probably best known for creating the first device for detecting distant earthquakes, which he introduced to the Han court in AD 132. Its design was simple, an urn equipped with a pendulum. The seismograph is an ancient Chinese invention attributed to Zhang Heng, a polymath of the Eastern Han Dynasty, 132 CE. It was a groundbreaking device designed to detect and record earthquakes. Zhang Heng's seismograph consisted of a bronze vessel with eight dragon heads, each holding a ball in its mouth. When an earthquake occurred, the movement of the ground would cause a ball to drop from one of the dragon's mouths into a corresponding toad's mouth below. The direction of the quake was determined by which dragon released the ball. Zhang Heng's seismograph was a pioneering achievement in earthquake science, demonstrating early efforts to understand and document seismic activity. When it picked up a vibration, it dropped a ball from the mouth of a metal dragon into a metal frog, creating a loud clang. The first time that happened, nobody in the court reportedly felt anything, but a few days later, a messenger from a village 400 miles away arrived to inform the emperor that an earthquake had occurred there. The Blast Furnace Right around the beginning of the Han Dynasty in the early 200s BC, Chinese metallurgists built the first blast furnaces, which pumped a blast of air into a heated batch of iron ore to produce cast iron according to Chinese technology historian Donald B. Wagner. The blast furnace is a highly efficient and advanced metallurgical invention attributed to ancient China. It was developed during the Han Dynasty, around the 1st century CE, and significantly improved the process of smelting iron from iron ore. The blast furnace introduced the use of forced air, typically delivered by bellows, into the furnace to raise the temperature substantially, enabling the reduction of iron ore to molten iron. This innovation marked a crucial advancement in iron production and contributed to China's technological and economic progress. It later spread to other parts of the world and played a pivotal role in the growth of the iron and steel industry globally. The Adjustable Wrench According to Temple, the 1st century BC Chinese used a tool somewhat similar to the one used by plumbers and tinkerers, in which a sliding caliper gauge allowed the pieces to be adjusted. Modern wrenches have a worm screw, a different mechanism, but the function is the same. Initially, the devices seem to have been used for measuring, rather than loosening and tightening lug nuts or pipes. The adjustable wrench, also known as a monkey wrench, is not believed to have been originally invented in China. Its invention is commonly attributed to Charles Monkey, a Paris-born American engineer, who patented the design in 1858. The adjustable wrench features a movable jaw that can be adjusted to fit different sizes of nuts and bolts, making it a versatile tool for various mechanical and plumbing applications. While China has a rich history of inventions, the adjustable wrench is not typically associated with Chinese innovation. The Moldboard Plow According to Robert Greenberger's book The Technology of Ancient China, the Chinese were using iron plows to till farm fields as far back as the 6th century BC. But a couple of hundred years later, some ingenious Han inventor came up with the Quan, also known as the moldboard plow. The tool had a central piece that ended in a sharp point, and wings to push the soil away and reduce the friction. The new plow helped the Chinese practice contour plowing, in which they followed the shapes of the hills, to reduce soil erosion. The moldboard plow is an important agricultural invention with ancient origins, and while it was not originally invented in China, it played a significant role in Chinese agriculture. The moldboard plow is typically associated with improvements made in Europe during the Middle Ages. It consists of a curved, metal plowshare that turns over and breaks up soil, making it more suitable for planting crops. In China, plow technology has a long history, dating back to the Shang Dynasty, circa 1600-1046 BCE. Chinese farmers used various types of plows, including simple wooden plows and early metal-tipped plows. However, it's important to note that while the basic concept of the plow existed in China, the specific design of the moldboard plow, with its curved metal share and moldboard, is more closely associated with European developments. The moldboard plow significantly improved agricultural efficiency by allowing farmers to cultivate deeper and more easily than with earlier plow designs. While not originally a Chinese invention, plow technology, including the moldboard plow, played a crucial role in the development of agriculture worldwide, including China. The stirrup. Ancient horsemen had to let their legs dangle as they rode, though the Romans rigged a handhold on saddles to help them stay on the horse when things got rough. 
A Han Dynasty inventor made things a lot easier by making cast iron or bronze devices that a rider could slip his foot into, according to Temple. It was such a revolutionary invention that it spread over the next several centuries across Asia to Europe, where it made it possible for medieval knights to ride their steeds in heavy armor without tumbling off. The stirrup is an ancient Chinese invention that revolutionized horseback riding and warfare. It consists of a foot support device attached to a saddle, allowing riders to secure their feet and gain better control and stability while mounted on a horse. The Chinese stirrup, believed to have been developed during the Han Dynasty, around the 2nd century CE, had a significant impact on cavalry tactics and contributed to the success of mounted soldiers in battle. It also spread to other parts of the world, influencing equestrian traditions and military strategies in various cultures. The stirrup's invention is considered a milestone in the history of horsemanship and warfare. The rudder. The Chinese developed the device for steering a ship in the 1st century AD, according to Chinese technology historian Yang Shang Lu. The rudder enabled ships to steer without using oars, making it a lot easier to navigate. According to Temple's book, the invention took about millennium to reach the West, where it helped Christopher Columbus and other explorers navigate the ocean. The rudder is an ancient Chinese invention that transformed the navigation of watercraft. Dating back to the 1st century CE during the Han Dynasty, the Chinese developed a vertically mounted, pintle and gudgeon rudder, which replaced earlier steering methods. This innovation greatly improved the maneuverability of ships, making them easier to steer and navigate, especially in adverse conditions. The Chinese rudder design eventually spread to other parts of the world, becoming a fundamental component of maritime technology and contributing significantly to the advancement of global seafaring and exploration. Thanks for watching. Request you to subscribe the channel.